Welcome everybody. Today I wanted to show you something pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a shotgun blast using line traces in a random cone. So uh, let me show you what that looks like real quick and uh, we'll just get right into it. So you see here I shot uh, my shotgun and the pellets spread out. So if I look at the pellets you see that they kind of uh, spread out randomly and uh, some of them traveled over here. Some of them you can see where they hit. So in this case, it looks like it hit, uh, hit the zombie in that case and some hit the wall down here. So let me show you the logic for doing this. And um, it's, it's really pretty simple. So let me... Uh, so what I have is I have a function. Now, this is the blueprint for my shotgun. The shotgun is attached to my first person character. And then I'm triggering this event, um, the attack event, uh, when you fire the button. And um, I've got some logic in here to, uh, to do a cooldown. So I have a, a, a do once thing here. I call activate on my, um, you notice there's a Niagara particle system that's firing, so I, I activate that. And then I call this fire uh, mechanism uh, function right here. And I pass in the number of pellets, which is four. So if we look at the fire function, what it's doing is, you simply have a for loop, from zero to the number of pellets. It actually will add an extra pellet because I start from zero. Actually, I could fix that and just change this to a one. That'll give you the accurate number of pellets. Um, then what I do is, here's the real key to this whole thing of generating a random unit vector in a cone. So what I do is you pass in the the direction of your shotgun blast and um, so in my case it is the forward vector of the shotgun actor and then you pass in the cone half angle in degrees okay so if we're talking about the half angle of the cone what i did was i added a debug cone in and let me show you what it looks like all right, so if we look at this, so if we look at this now, you can see that the forward vector went right down the middle of the cone here. And then the half angle would be from the center to the edge. So it's basically the radius of the cone. And uh, so the bigger you make that half angle, uh, the wider your cone is going to be. So this was at a radius of, let me see real quick. So if we go back down to our logic down here, the angle that I have currently set is, it looks like 10, 10. Uh, so 10 centimeters. So let me change this real quick. So let me go back. I'm gonna change this to 20. And you'll see, that the, the size of the cone is going to get a lot bigger. So we'll compile this. We're going to run it again. Right, see now much bigger. That's it. All right, getting back to our example. So what this is doing is it chooses a random direction within those boundaries between the forward vector and a a distance away from that in this half angle. So all you do is um, you do a line trace. So we're gonna take the socket location of my, my skeletal mesh. What this is is just the tip of the gun. That's all it is. So we're grabbing from the tip of the gun. We're gonna start our line trace there. And then all we do is we multiply the, this random unit vector, so that's a direction, we multiply it by the distance we're going to shoot. And then we add that to our original start location. That gets our end location. So from the tip of the gun outward, 
in the direction, the random direction that we chose. And uh, then I'm just drawing the lines. From here, what you would do is process the output hits. Um, you would process if the hit was uh, accurate. So what you do is like this. You would just create an if statement. If. And what you would pass in here. True if there was a hit. So if there is a hit that occurred, then you would process the hit. So you break the hit result here. And this will give you all the information about uh, which actor got hit and where it was hit and all that. And so then you can apply damage to that person, etc. So re really, that's it, guys. It's a really simple uh, thing that we did today. We, uh, we just used a uh, cone. And um, let me show you how this looks. So we'll pull it up again. So now when you're moving around, boom, right? And every time you shoot, it's a random uh, spread of shotgun pellets. And so that way it gives you some level of realism, you know, that says that these things are, um, are just completely different. Uh, every time you shoot and uh, that's what we're looking for if you like this kind of content please subscribe below uh, hit that like button and have a great day in the same day thanks